Then we had uh, the House of Black, Malachi Black, Brody, and Buddy versus the Acclaimed and Billy Gunn. This was one of those House Rules matches. And actually, I don't even know what the House Rules were for the... Uh, what did, what did uh, Anthony and Max and Billy get for their House Rule? I don't know. Nobody? They didn't pick one. Hmm. They didn't pick one? All that and they didn't even pick something? Bo- I think Bowen straight up says we don't need any special rules to beat you mm. guys. Wow. Well, they like should have. The they should have picked though. that. No matter what happens, we get the belts. That's the stipulation they should have picked. But anyway, we'll talk about it after the break, because I want you to have to wait. Observer Live. Oh yeah, the acclaimed and uh, and Daddy Ass versus House of Black. Everyone's asking me about the light show. <laughs> it, it's irrelevant to me. It doesn't matter. It adds nothing. It takes nothing away. You I don't, were so exasperated I don't after care. reading this thread during the break. <laughs> I'm not exasperated. I'm just like... Sounded like it. To, to, to have someone who has a cult-like mentality over one promotion accuse other people of having a cult-like mentality over other promotions, that's funny to me. So I pointed that out. Now, this match, uh, you know, in the middle, there was not a lot of heat because they got heat for like an hour. They did that, uh, you know, cut the dude off, set up the hot tag, pull the guy off the apron, blah, blah, blah. I mean, they did this forever. And finally, Daddy S gets the hot tag, and he makes his comeback, and then he's kicked and pinned. They, they didn't go back and forth. They didn't do a bunch of near falls. I mean, the match was fine, but watching it live, it was just weird. It was just weird. Then we had Jade versus Taya, which uh, had, I mean, compared to like some of the stuff previously, this had a ton of heat live. I mean, there were dueling chants. They were super in all of this. Jade ends up, uh, she she gets hit with her own move. Ty hits her with the road to Valhalla. And, dude, she hit that move, and everybody in the building got on their feet. And they thought they were going to see the the title change right there. And Jade kicked out, and then she hit her finish and pinned Taya. And, uh, you know, overall it was was good. It was one of the better Jade matches. And then afterwards, Smart Mark says, well, that's 60-0. You know, Jade will do another one here right now. And so who should return but Chris Statlander? And she hit the ring, 48 seconds, hit her finish, pinned Jade, ended the streak, won the title. Place was going crazy for this deal here. But I'm told this show sucked. Get out of here. And we had MJF and Sammy Darby and Jungle Boy. Four-way match for the uh, title, 27 minutes. And, uh, you know, Sammy and Ty came out, announced that Ty is having a baby as well. So uh, that was great. And the match itself, I mean, MGF was super over. Probably the most over guy in the match, even though he was the only heel, really. Sammy did, in fact, work as a babyface the entire match. In fact, all three of them teamed up on MGF early and got booed. And so, uh, you know, they... They had an awesome match by the end, and uh, I will say that the build for this did not help almost anybody. I mean, the closest you can get to helping somebody was was Darby. I think Darby came out of this a little bit bigger star than he was going in. I think Sammy came out of this exactly where he was before, and I think Jungle Boy was actively hurt by the build. But this match was so great that when it was over, MGF won, by the way, when it was over... I think, ultimately, it did help everybody involved. Just to have such an awesome match in a main event, on a pay-per-view, everybody looks so good. Um, I think it was a net slight positive when all was said and done. Was it a huge positive for everybody involved? No, it absolutely was not. But I do think that the fans will look at all four of them as somewhat bigger stars after this than they were going in. But it was this match. It was not the build, the promos, or any of that. That did not help at all. It's the new baseline now for what these guys are. Because I think now people look at Jack Perry and you feel about him the way you're going to feel about him. As far as there's a lot of people now that go and maybe it's time to turn him heel. You know, really, Darby and MJF aside, Sammy's going to be the most interesting one that comes out of this because I would assume you still want to tie up the loose end with the Jericho Appreciation Society. And because 
Ty won't be there, you know, I guess because she is pregnant and I would assume she's going to be, you know, slowly drifting off of TV. It's going to be interesting to see who they align him with because he has been such a prick. Interesting story here with Sammy and what they're going to tell with him. Same thing with Jungle Boy as well. How, because to me, he's, he's got to be a heel. You got to start working that direction. And it's going to be interesting to see how they do that. Then the main event was Anarchy in the Arena, Blackpool Combat Club versus the Elite. And, uh, it was crazy. Crowd just went crazy for this entire match. They played the music. They had a live band. They went through this three and a half times, the song. And every time they started the song over again, they popped bigger. But uh, it was teetering on wearing out its welcome, and that's right when the, the Bucks super kicked the uh, lead singer. And uh, he was dead. And um, then they just did everything. I mean, thumbtacks, rolling outside. Uh, brawling in the mezzanine. There was a firecracker in uh, in Matt Jackson's boot. And I think they were actually supposed to do multiple firecrackers, but the rest didn't go off. But ultimately, he only needed the one. It blew up, and everybody went absolutely crazy for an exploding super kick. And then finally, yes, at the end, that despicable, disgusting human, Don Callis, got in the ring, and Kenny was about to kill him when a Hooded man came out, laid out Kenny. It was Takeshita. He has turned heel and joined Callus. And uh, literally, Wheeler Utah pinned Kenny Omega at the end of this match, which I did not expect, but he did. And then afterwards, when the show was off the air, Kenny said, you know, sorry this ended in a sad way, but I've got a couple of friends outside of AEW that might be able to even the odds. So it sounds to me, it sounds to me like it's going to be Danielson, Moxley, Claudio, Wheeler, and Takeshita versus Omega, Nick and Matt Jackson, Hangman, Okada, and uh, Ibushi, perhaps at Forbidden Door, which would be a giant 10-man tag. So uh, there you go. thought this Wait, match was awesome. did you just name there? Well, I mean, somebody would have to do something else. Kenny's going to probably do something else. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, well Kenny's got uh, uh, the U.S. title match, so he'll yes. be out of that with uh, Will Ospreay. Assumingly, sorry, Lance Archer. Everybody assumes it's going to be Will Ospreay. So, yeah, I mean, that works just fine and would actually go a long way uh, probably – for New Japan's relationship with Kenny Omega to not stand in the way of Kota Ibushi and just, you know, any differences they have, hopefully they get put aside for good so we can have Ibushi on shows like that. You can also find me at Vincent Verhai on Cameo. Oh, my God. I will send you a happy birthday wish. <laughs> I will send you a happy anniversary wish. Granny, you ever thought about being on Cameo? What is it? My computer, my front page is uh, Microsoft. And I go through there and see all kinds of lies and stuff like that. And here you are. You're doing a commercial. And then you had me on there when I was ranting about WrestleMania. Did you get my permission? Oh, okay. Wait, wait, what? Just, what? Just stop You're, for a second. Your front page is Microsoft. I guess. I don't even know what that means, your front page is Microsoft. What do you mean you go through there and see all the lies? What does that mean? Well, they have a whole bunch of stuff, you know, about this and that and this and that, you know. All kinds like of news. Like the news? News? I don't post the videos. I don't edit the videos. If you saw some video or some commercial, I have no idea what it is or where it came from or who edited it together. I'm sure it was someone from the site. It's not, no, Tony, it's not Tony, and it's not Dave, and it's not me. And it's not Vinny. He's busy doing cameos. That's right. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.